Hey guys, this is Casper with Tape, and today you join me for another real solar system video, and on the pad we have the Space Launch System. This is a Space Launch System Block 1 with the smaller boosters and the uh, no upper stage. Uh, this lives about, lifts about 70 tons to orbit, which is within that payload, uh, within the payload fairing, that's aerosine and um, uh, nitrogen tetroxide. But what I will be launching is the Block 1A, which takes 105 tons to orbit, and I've got a fairly interesting payload that won't actually do much. Um, so this is going to be sped up because the last sat the last one I did was a Saturn V and it took long and there's no real need. I'm just showing off the launch vehicle. Um, basically this can lift more just because those boosters are bigger. Um, the, the I didn't design this as much as the Saturn V because most of the parts came in, um, you know, in one of the, uh, I think in the real solar system pack or the realism overhaul maybe. Um, I did design those boosters because it comes with the stock boosters and now we're in four times time accelerate. But these ones um, give it 35 tons more lifting power, so they're pretty pretty beefy. So yeah, it's pretty good. Um, and it just goes all the way into orbit uh, without those boosters. Um, it doesn't have an upper stage. The one with the upper stage, the Block 2, I haven't perfected yet, but hopefully will, because that's 135 tons to LEO, I think, um, low Earth orbit. You can see you get a little bit of Mac effects on the way up. I quite like that. I, I, don't, I think that's probably inefficient, but I like the kind of passing through area of maximum dynamic pressure sort of thing. And those nose cones are actually fuel tanks because, um, are they? No, no, those are just procedural nose cones. There's loads of procedural stuff in the realism overhaul pack. Anyway, I'll drop that. They blow up on the vehicle, unlike real life. It did work last time I did that. Yeah, basically these parts look exactly like those NASA parts um, that came in the newest KSP, but those are 8.4 meters in diameter, which is quite a bit smaller than the Saturn V, which is 10.1. But yeah, basically they've just been scaled up from the NASA parts, which are 3.75, but the real space launch system is 8.4 meters in diameter because we've got to lift a lot to orbit around Earth. And we're already going pretty fast, and I've taken a very steep launch trajectory, partly because I want to be in a fairly high orbit because of what I've got planned, and partly because it just makes it slightly easier, although it is less efficient. But this is a very actually efficient launch vehicle. I think I'm going to lift a little more than 105 tons, actually, if flown well, probably 110. So it's unrealistic in that respect, but uh, that's a good thing, really. I want to be just designing some uh, cooler stuff um, for real solar systems so I can do some, do some good things, do some interesting missions and such. Someone did um, link me a really cool image of, like, I'd say, uh, Space Launch System Block 3, like concept art. Um, just ditched those thar fairings. But yeah, the, it was like a Space Launch System Block 2 with the upper stage and all, but it had, like, huge boosters on the side that were, like, liquid fuel or something. That was very cool. Anyway, we're coming actually quite close to our Apple apps now, and I've tilted over pretty much on the um, equator just to push myself into orbit, and it's a pretty nice um, launch tra trajectory. That engine can't really be throttled down. I um, almost lost it there, because I had the engine almost unignited. But yeah, it can be throttled down a bit, but only to like a, a little more. Anyway, after a bit of tweaking, I actually get an encounter with Saturn, um, which is represented by Drez, and I technically have the Delta V to go there, but because the engine's so unpowerful, it would take about 35 minutes to complete the burn, and by then I'm so far off where I need to be that it just kind of messes up. I did try it. Um, this probe is just hashed together to be a dead payload, really. The probe does look quite cool. Um, there's a lot of stuff on it, but it just basically has a huge fuel tank on the back, which was put there simply to weigh 105 tons. So it's not designed to go anywhere, but it has a load of Delta V, and it's using a Merlin... 1C engine, I believe. Uh, yeah, Merlin 1C vacuum engine, which only provides about 400 kilonewtons of thrust, and this all weighs 105 tons. So, yeah, 103 tons, even. I think I've burned a bit of fuel. Yeah, so it was 104 tons. Yeah, and this engine gimbals so much, I love it. It's, I don't know who made it, I think it just comes in the real realism overhaul pack. Basically, it's just the skipper engine scaled to look differently, and it's a SpaceX Merlin family rocket engine, and it's on 1C mode, uh, which is very cool. Um, I'm going to skip through most of this because uh, I'm just going to th show you different bits. And that fuel tank's got quite a nice texture. The probe is very cool, actually. I will show that off in a bit. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's about a cut ahead because this burn took, well, not actually half an hour because I just sped it up. Um, and you can see in four times time accelerate, it's still taking a while. And because I can't burn straight down or I'll fall into the atmosphere, I'm just kind of burning. So my delta V isn't going away, but I am traveling very fast now. Um, my... Uh, Apple apps is seriously, seriously raising. Um, yeah, this is pretty much 
you would very rarely just dead burn for a planet in real life. You'd kind of probably head for Mars, get an orbital, um, get a gravitational assist off it, kick your orbit out more. It's all about saving fuel, or to get that kind of delta V, you need a huge fuel tank like this on the back, and that's kind of expensive and very hard to lift. And this, um, the probe does weigh a few tons, um, so it's not like a little tiny thing. This wasn't designed to be an interplanetary probe. It was designed to be a nice-looking dead weight. But um, it actually, if I, um, with a more powerful engine and a more skilled pilot, it would actually be a pretty effective thing. Um, that probe's actually very nice. I'm very proud of it. It looks nice. I'll use it in a mission, maybe. Um, I just basically strapped a bunch of irrelevant stuff to it, though, so I'd have to upgrade it. Although it does have a bunch of science payload. But anyway, skipping ahead again, our um, Apoaps is getting to escape velocity. Um, it is actually quite, it was also a very badly planned maneuver, in fairness. This was literally just pit lock, uh, pot lock that I got an encounter with Saturn. I don't actually go there because I didn't do this well enough and I'm almost out of fuel. But we go past the orbit of Mars and actually go past the orbit of Joule, um, or Jupiter. I've cut ahead now, and that'll, think, I think, be the final cut. But, um, yeah, basically we just wait for our Apple Watch to go out, or go up, but our kerosene and liquid oxygen will run out first. Yeah, you can see the probe of it there, it's, you know not going to do much. It would be nice, um, I should, really should have just put a more powerful engine on it if I'd thought about what I could do. I didn't know I was actually in um, an encounter with Saturn. I knew it was actually close because I've been planning some stuff and when I saw it I was like, oh, I could probably go there. So I did get the encounter, kind of, but it was a bit, uh, just fairly lucky. Um, but yeah, I think I need to, well when you start playing real solar system, it's, or realism overhaul or whatever, it's kind of like starting KSP again where you're like, how do I get to orbit? I basically figured that out, and it's like, how do you get to the moon? And I've landed on the moon once, um, actually. I landed some guys on the moon. That was in an old series without all the realism overhaul mods, just some of the mods, and it was very difficult and was very stressful. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I managed that, and that was... So yeah, I reckon now I could probably do it easier, and now it's kind of a matter of how do I get a probe to another planet, because I can't... I don't, there's no mo I don't think there's any mods to tell me where to do it, and it would just be a matter of googling the angles. But yeah, we um, are just burning randomly, and our um, engine burns out, and we didn't actually get very far because of my ineptitude. And that's an unpressurized fuel tank on the back of the probe, so those engines don't work, and because there is no crossfeed from the RCS to the um, thrusters, I can't use that, so that's good. Uh, yeah, it's a balloon tank there. It should be a service module tank, because then it would be pressurized. But it's quite a nice-looking probe. Those weird little um, thing. The big sticky out things are the thick fins, um, the back is a cone shaped fuel tank, uh, the middle is a big probe body, um, and those little metal-y things that are next to the fins, those are RTGs, and there are some solar panels I'll deploy in a bit. I figure out, yeah, hypergolic fluid, infinite, but it's an unpressurized, an unpressurized tank, which kind of sucks. But anyway, these are very nice big solar panels. Um, and there are some uh, scientific equipment, there's some scientific equipment on this, but it blends quite nicely. I wanted to warp into the sun, because uh, then you can see the probe better. Um, although you can't, really. And it has a big antenna for long-range transmission. Not that I have remote tech installed, because um, last series I used remote tech with was the bane of my life. Um, space being SpaceX, basically remote tech was just glitched out as hell. But yeah, this probe is nicely packed with things, over, over packed, just trying to be a payload, really. Um, but yeah, there's not really much else to do with this, it's not bound anywhere, because I didn't manage to send it to Saturn, or even, um, even Mars. Uh, but anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. I, if you have, consider dropping it a like, and maybe subscribing to my channel for more shenanigans. This has been Chaos with Tape, I will see you next time. Oh, 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 oh,